Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm very well, thank you. Oh, good. Okay, welcome to the class. We're going to wait a few more minutes for the rest of the class to come. Okay. Right. Teacher, eh, ¿pudo enviar ayer las imágenes al grupo? Eh, no sé si las vio, yo vi que alguien más las compartió. Ah, es que ahí. yo tengo el grupo, pero mm, no tengo nada en el grupo. Ok, entonces las voy a subir ahora, voy a subirlo de ayer y voy a subirlo ah, ahora. Ok, thank you. Ok, perfecto. Y para hacer más fácil la pronunciación, ¿qué es recomendable para pronunciar mejor las palabras? Eh, hay varias cosas que usted puede hacer. Por ejemplo, una de las cosas es ver videos en inglés, las noticias, cosas por el estilo, y eh, tratar de ir entendiendo y de una vez ir viendo la, la pronunciación. Mm. Otro ejercicio muy interesante que pueden hacer es... Por ejemplo, en Google, en uh, los documentos de Google, usted puede abrir un documento y hay una, una opción en la que usted le puede dictar al documento. Entonces, yeah. usted lo pone en inglés y puede ir dictándole, ir viendo cómo es la pronunciación, cosas por el estilo. También hay algunas aplicaciones, programas, incluso hay una página web, no recuerdo cómo se llama, si la encuentro se la voy a mandar. Okay. En la que ustedes pueden ver un video y al mismo tiempo pueden hablar. O sea, le va saliendo los subtítulos del video y luego usted puede grabar la voz y lo compara. Le va diciendo uh -huh. si fue bueno o no fue en la pronunciación. Ya. Yeah. Hay muchas herramientas que se pueden hacer, pero eh, quizás lo mejor sería eso, tratar de ver videos. Eh, irse empapando de la pronunciación, de cómo utilizan ellos las palabras. Y pues eso le va a ayudar bastante. Y, y no tener miedo de hablar, por supuesto. Está bien. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, everybody. Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. good evening. How are you today? Fine, teacher, and you? Very well, actually, very well. It's kind of hot today. Yes. Here, too. Okay, we're going to wait just one or two more minutes, and then we will start. Okay. What's your name, teacher? My name is Eric. Nice to meet you. Okay. Yesterday, I wasn't here. Ah, okay. Well, yes. nice to meet you. <laughs> Nice to meet you too. You can watch the video if you want, and also if you have questions, you can ask into the chat group, or you can also chat me directly. Okay.
Okay, my friends, we are going to start uh, the class. Uh, welcome. Uh, this is um, the second class, and um, we are going to. For first of all, as I want to ask you, uh, does anybody has some problems with the platform? Everybody has access to the platform. Everybody is fine. Mm -hmm. No problems at all. No, no problem, teacher. No problem. Very, very well. And are you doing the exercises already? What I you know? didn't, teacher. Okay, don't worry. Uh, today, probably, we're going to check some, <coughs> some things there, okay? Okay. Okay, uh, yesterday, we were, um, we were discussing adverse of frequency. That was like the first class. Do you remember that um, that part? Uh, what do you remember about yesterday class? Anybody? The simple present and the advert of frequency only. Okay. And the vocabulary. Vocabulary about the the exercise or fit. I don't know. Yeah, that is true. We were also checking some fitness vocabulary, uh, simple present tense, the rules and when to use simple present tense, and also we check the adverbs of frequency. Uh, so today, what we're going to do is we're going to start with um, the platform. We're going to check. Um, the first exercise to see if you have any questions, anything. Okay, um, check. Okay. There are a few more missing right now. Okay, I'm going to present my screen so we can check the exercise and you let me know if you have some questions about that one, okay? Uh, but it's like stuck. Let me see here. Okay, here's it. Okay, so this is like the platform. Um, I guess everybody knows the way this works, right? So the first one, the number one uh, says in this lesson, participants will listen to conversation about how often they do an activity. And uh, if we move on, you are going to see the exercise, right? This is like a little video where you can say, Things that you usually do or things that you almost never do, things like that. So, with this little video, is there any question? If you saw that already. Si ya lo vieron, hay alguna pregunta? No questions. Okay. Then after that one, we uh, checked the other objective. Vamos a ir practicando. A ver, um, Cory, uh, could you please read the objective? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. By the end of this season, you will learn how to ask and answer question using adverbs of frequency. Okay, so this uh, is going to be like a practice for you to ask questions using the adverbs of frequency. That is like a little video as well. And then we have the first knowledge check. That is this one. So it says, read the following prompts, choose the response in which the adverb in the brackets is placed correctly. 
okay and we have some questions for example number one it says do you play sports and the question should have the adverse uh, well, the other ever so let's do the number one okay together uh, do you play sports and what will be the option do you ever play a sport? Very good. Do you ever play sports? That is like the way that we're going to ask. Y así van los demás ejercicios. Simplemente de ir uh, buscando ciertas situaciones. Uh, for example, do you know what is twice a week? Do you remember that? Twice a week. Dos um, veces por semana. Very good. Two times. Dos veces por semana. Very well. That's it, right? <coughs> And uh, we are not going to do all the exercises, but we're going to check some vocabulary. For example, until. Do you remember what does until mean? Hasta. Oh, Very good. Uh, that is it, until. And uh, let me check if there is any other. Um, okay. I guess that is like the most important. Um, so the question is, los que ya hicieron este ejercicio, tienen alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? Any problem that you have had about this? Y los que no lo han hecho, pues, hay que hacerlo. Si hay preguntas cuando lo estén haciendo, pues me pueden escribir y como les decía, es un gusto, ¿ok? Ok. Nice. So this is like the first part and... Again, uh, the question is, do you have any anything to ask before the next practice for the adverse of frequency? No questions. Mm, okay. Vamos a practicar entonces a lo que venimos, ¿verdad? Hablar inglés. So what we are going to do is this. I'm going to uh, create rooms so you can ask questions for class. Uh, you can ask any question. It's not only fitness. Do you usually eat the uh, Se escucha un poco de interferencia. Hola. Se escucha un poco de interferencia. Ok, vamos a revisar acá. Ok. Let's see. Ok. So, uh, I was telling you that we are going to create rooms. We are going to work in pairs. And uh, you are going to ask questions to a classmate. How often do you usually do anything? Entonces, vamos a hacer preguntas en pareja. Eh, no sé si quieren tiempo para escribir las preguntas o de una vez hacemos los rooms. What do you think? ¿Sí se entiende la actividad que vamos a hacer? Vamos a hacer unos rooms para hacer preguntas a un classmate y luego vamos a venir a decir qué es lo que hace ese classmate. Pueden ser unas cinco, seis preguntas. ¿Cuánto tiempo vamos a estar en, en los rooms? Eh, yo diría que unos seis minutos. Creo que es suficiente. Unos tres para que pregunte uno y unos tres para que pregunte el otro. Y luego vamos a venir acá y vamos a a utilizar el presente simple con adverse of frequency so we can practice what we have learned. Okay, let's see how many are we. Okay, pareciera que estamos in pares, así es de que alguna persona va a estar conmigo. Let's see how it goes. Hay una persona que tiene problemas. Vamos a ver si le ayudamos a la persona, pero Um, vamos a hacer los rooms. Eh, piensen en las preguntas, unas 5 o 6 preguntas que le van a hacer a su classmate y luego vamos a regresar a preguntar, ¿ok? A contar qué es lo que pasó. Let's see. Sorry. Go ahead. Um, sería, how do you usually uh, play basketball, for example? Mm, okay, in that question, if you ask how do you usually, that question is like a method. Um, quizás sería how often, algo así, how often, o no sé qué es lo que quiere preguntar. Quizás sería la, 
Sí. Eh, ¿Qué tan frecuente juegas básquetbol, por ejemplo? Ahí sería how often. How often do you usually play How basketball? often do you usually? Okay. Or okay. how often do you play basketball? That will be like... Ah, how often. Ok. okay. Va a haber un grupo entonces con, con quizá un participante más. Eh, pero lo pueden hacer ahí entre los tres, ok. Vamos a crear entonces el grupo si no hay ninguna pregunta antes de la actividad y luego regresamos. Here we go. Do you drink coffee? I drink, I'm drink coffee uh, three times for for day. Three times for day. For day. Okay. How often do you do you do exercise? I'm I'm ex, I'm exercise uh, three times per week. Three times per week. Sí. Yes. And the last one. Okay. And the last one is uh, how do how often do you do you go to the to the Nadar. Ok. Eh, ¿Sería la otra? Podemos utilizar también um, los otros adverbios. I go to the beach one time. No, no, no. Tengo que contestar. Libre. I go to the beach twice a year. Okay. <laughs> Only vacation? No, mucho. Okay. Vacation, fin de año. <laughs> Semana Santa, no, muy lleno. No, Semana Santa no. Y okay. la siguiente, how, how often do you go to work? I went to work every every day. Every um, day, okay. No, some days, no. Mm. It's only Monday to Saturday. Monday to Saturday. Yes. How often do you go to work? Do you go to work? How okay. often do you go to the tour? 
I go to church every Sunday. Okay. How often do you eat pizza? Uh, in the weekends? I eat pizza in the weekends. weekends? Every yeah. week? Every weekend? Um, no, maybe two weekends on the month. Okay. How often do you eat pupusas? I eat, I eat pupusas um, uh, twice a week. Yeah, twice a week. Okay. Thursday. The, um, Thursday and Sunday, usually. Okay. How often do you um? How often do you do you like swim? I don't swim. No. I don't do okay. no. Como se dice? No puedo. I can't. No, I, I can't. I can't. I swim. can't swim. Yes. Okay. Pero esa sería mi pregunta. How often do you do you want to swim? <laughs> no. Como no puede, esa es la respuesta. Uh -huh. I can't swim. Okay. How often do you clean the house? Upa. 